I'm Stephen Peterman, the founder of The Sketchwork Project. So The Sketchwork Project is a global community of people who have submitted sketchbooks for the past 16 years to be a part of our library space. We have books from over 130 different countries. We have over 40,000 books in the collection. And basically anyone that would want to participate has been able to participate amateur artists, first-time artists, professional artists, everywhere in between. They sign up to our website, they get a blank book from us, they fill it up and send it back, and then it'll become part of our library space, which has just moved down to St. Pete. So the sketchbook format for us, I think, is very uh, all over the place. We have books that pop up into crazy maps, and we have a clown tunnel book that we always use as such a good example. We have people who really use it as an outlet for either um, mental health thing or some people, people who use it during their battle with cancer and, and things like that. So it's really across the board, which I think is what makes this project really special. I think you might come in with a preconceived notion of what a sketchbook is and then you'll leave seeing that uh, it's, it's a whole different thing. I think the format also allows people to, to tell their secrets a little bit more uh, because it's closed and you it's a little bit of a randomness to find books and, and I think people feel safe hiding things in there and so there's there's a lot of really interesting perspectives and narratives and, and things like that in all of the books. Kind of worst case scenario, we, um, we're moving the entire collection from Brooklyn to St. Pete and unfortunately he blew a tire somewhere outside of Baltimore. It, it ignited the trailer on fire. I mean, I guess in the end, we're lucky that as many survived as they did. I would probably estimate we have 30 to 40,000 good books that are safe and sound and don't smell like smoke or anything like that. So it feels good right now. I think it feels better than we thought it would be. But yeah, it's very um, informal here. We, we want, you can touch the books. You don't have to wear gloves. It's, it really is about that process of, of connecting to that artist, I think, in, in our world of like social media, you share something and it's seen by thousands of people, but it's very like not personal. And I think in our case, maybe one of your book might be seen by 20, 30 people in its lifetime, but that is like such an intimate moment with them. Um, and, and I think that's what we really find special about it. I think it's important to preserve the collection as, as like a time capsule. That is my favorite part. That's what gets me excited about it. I think it's important that the book stay together and tell the larger story of this like decade and a half of these people that have shared their work. The individual artist is less important to me than the community as a whole. I, I think that it's so much stronger because if I pick this random person's book, like it may be beautiful, it may be, you know, might share a really good story, but it's not anything compared to the fact that there's 55,000 other ones around it now and like what that means. I think there's just like a weird quirky randomness to it that I, I really love. But overall, I would, I would say it is just about the collection as a whole and, and that, that sort of like time capsule archive aspect of it. And it feels important to keep those together.